Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. It's January the 15th and time for our second album cover in our make along, our year long make along Rock 2022 AU. So, our first album was Fun House with Pink, and that was really well received. We've seen some awesome projects of pictures posted in the Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to join it and check them out. Um, I'm just blown away. And yes, pink was a popular colour. We've had scarves, we've had unicorns, we've had an owl, squares, socks, starting of blankets. Just been amazing how um, bookmarks, how creative people have been and inspired by the music and the album and the artists. So for me, I talked about doing a... Um, a stained glass window blanket to celebrate United Nations International Year of Glass. And I was leaning towards this knitted one with knitted diamonds. So I had a go and I made two diamonds. You know, they go like that. And I decided, no, I didn't like it. It wasn't going to look nice enough for me. I'm not that great at edging them. And no, I won't be continuing with that one. So that got the flick. But, however, I did have the stained glass window blanket, corner to corner squares, and I've decided to do this one because I can change it and, and the variety of it, and it's quick and easy to do. I also believe Crochet for Life and Stuff with Deborah is doing the same pattern. She liked what I showed. So make sure you check out her channel. I'll put a link to her channel in the description below. See what she's up to. She does so much stuff and she's so much fun. So there you go. My first corner to corner square, of course, was pink. I have a lot of pink in my marble stash. But that's how I decided to do it. And that was my first square. Now, that's really quick and finished. And I thought, I have to do more. It doesn't feel enough. And I've been seeing on Facebook, Instagram, maybe even on YouTube, people were doing this zigzag blanket and posting their finished objects or projects. And it looked awesome. So I checked it out. And yes, I am doing Ophelia Talks. Oh, that's upside down. Zigzag blanket as well. I put pink this time. I won't necessarily do the same colours. But that is... Like a lat, well, probably be a wheelchair blanket at that width, but that is the zigzag blanket. Now I'm going to put black between each album to represent the black vinyl of the albums. But there you go. I like it because it has stitch markers for all the dips that I'm not going to take out because it reminds me where they should be when I'm crushed. It's so easy. You can sit and watch television, and once you get into the swing of it, it's hard to stop. So, two projects for me for the Rock 2022 Make Along. We also have Natalie from Made by Mum and her son Jacob joining us, which is awesome. He's just tagging along for the fun. He tagged along when I made my very first Make Along, which was a tea cosy, and only five people entered. Natalie made one, and Jacob, who was learning to crochet, made one too. And that's what he's doing. Now Lee's doing squares, he's doing squares, and it's fun to have him there. I can't wait to see what else he does. Um, make sure you check out Made by Mum by Natalie, because she does some awesome projects. So that was for Pink. So we're now into our second album cover. So I was, the boys asked me what would I be looking for, and I said 26th of January, is Australia Day. I am not getting into the politics of whether we should celebrate it then and all the ins and outs and uproar over Australia Day. It just happens to be it at the moment. And I said to them, we have a lot of Australian um, artists on vinyl in our collection. We have ACD, ACDC, we have In Excess, Cold Chisel, Olivia Newton-John, Hates, <laughs> Kevin's Johnny O'Keefe, just so many. And I said, pick something from that to represent Australian music. Well, 
they surprised me again because I swore we would get ACDC. Nope. We got one band I'd completely forgotten about. Are you ready for it? We have Goanna Band. Spirit of Place by Goanna. That's our album cover. I'll put it up again so you can get a better look. But I'll read you some information because I really had to look this one up. Now, I, disclaimer, that is the Things album, not mine. I enjoy the music, but he was really into it back then. So it was released in November 1982, and it is a folk rock album. The, ha the album is heavy on, um, I guess you call social protest themes, Indigenous Australian, land rights, nuclear war, poverty, all that sort of thing. One of their most famous songs is Standing on Solid Rock. Of course, you have what used to be called Airs Rock in the middle of Australia there. It's now called Uluru. That's on their album cover. Solid Rock features um, prominently a didgeridoo. For those of you who don't know what a didgeridoo is, I will try and put a photo at the end of this video that may inspire you. It is an Aboriginal or Indigenous Australian musical instrument. Um, it has a unique sound. And Solid Rock was the first song to reach the top of the charts featuring didgeridoo music. They also have another popular song, um, Razor's Edge. And that's probably about poverty and living on the breadline and living on the razor's edge. I will try and find two videos on YouTube of those and put them in the description below so you can check them out. Now, the band didn't have a very long cycle. They disbanded in 1987 and they all went off and did different things. I believe the female artist um, actually appeared on Australian Idol in 2016. I was surprised that we got Goanna and not ACDC. I did ask Thing, why did he pick a, um, Goanna? Why did they decide on that? Thing said he'd been watching the news and he felt the pandemic was overshadowing um, issues, long-standing issues, and the music on this album covers them, such as racism, um, social injustice, poverty, that sort of thing. And that's why when he saw it, he thought he, that would be a good album. Reeve said he's an artist, or he's a graphic designer, and he quite liked the colour content. He also does photography. He liked the set out of the album cover. He didn't know about the band, and he likes researching on bands that aren't familiar to him. And um, he said it was interesting to read what the members of this band, what other bands they ended up in. The music because we did play it, reminded him of the spirit of Australia. It is very Australiana type music and it does remind you of the spirit of the place, our country. Um, what else? He did say something funny. I've got it written down here. Yeah. He said, also, he was sick of me whinging about wanting to travel and the aeroplane reminded him of my whinging. How's that? That is our album cover for the second half of January. I hope the colours inspire you, the reds, the golds, maybe Uluru. I'll try and find a picture of that and put it at the end for you. Maybe the aeroplane travel. Or the name, Goanna. Goanna here is, a, is lizards. Or there are different species of lizards that are referred to as goannas. Up here where I live, our goanna is what is normally called a water monitor or lace monitor. And um, we used to see a lot of them when we went camping up in the Daintree when the boys were younger. Had to make sure you put your rubbish away at night because they were notorious for ripping into the rubbish, making a racket, and they can get quite sick. You also don't want to corner one. They have very long claws. And they generally run up trees. So if you've got it cornered, it will run up you and rip your skin to shreds. Um, I hope I can find a photo of that because maybe the actual lizard goanna might inspire your project. For me, I think it's the colours, maybe the music. Make sure you check out the lyrics of the video. That might inspire you. 
Anyway, that is our January the 15th album. Shocked, surprise. I was this morning when it was handed to me. Um, in summary, I hope you're all keeping well, staying safe, and remember, in things words, live life to the full because you're only here for a short time and no one gets out alive. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.